We're in the kitchen with Phil, and uh, he's making shepherd's pie today. Oh, yeah, indeed. Simple. What's, Straight to the point. What's a recipe? Right. Special? When I, when I was a young chef, yeah. all right, one of the first things I learned from day release from school was shepherd's pie. A lady called Mrs Bowles taught us, right, uh. which was quite scary. Anyway, but I've got to show you this, because this, uh, this is the book that I won at the end of my first Look year when that. I was a young... A day release from school, and if I open it up, you'll see... There's your little There's certificate. There's my little certificate, look. So, like so you were always destined to be a chef. Yeah, I don't know why. I was meant to be a doctor like my brother, but I failed miserably on that one. But oh there we God. are. Very there we are, but apart from that. Well, at least um... two doctors in a family. Someone's yeah, got to cook food. Um, I always make shepherd's pie, but obviously... I don't, it's not a real shepherd's pie because it's got beef mince in it. Right, which is cottage but pie. It's cottage pie. It's cottage pie, but we've always just called it shepherd's pie. It, exactly. Well, do, I, I prefer shepherd's pie. I think it has a nice depth of flavour. Yeah. The mince is just mince, isn't it? But Your yeah. cottage pie is amazing. But it's not. It's, it's cottage yeah. pie, yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks. It is really lovely. Thanks. Right. Like that. Here we've got mince. This is around about 20% fat, as you can see there. So 50, any, most burgers between 15 and 20, I think, has a nice flavour profile. OK. Any more than that, what they call free flow mince, is a lot higher fat content, so you need to be slightly careful. OK. OK. Well, I don't mind too much, uh, a little bit of fat, because it gives flavour. In here, I've got onions, which were nicely browned. Mince goes in. Now, Mrs Bowles told us that when we made mm -hmm. um, uh, shepherd's pie or cottage pie or um, Cumberland pie, which is a shepherd's pie with cheese on top and also some candy fruits because it came from Cumberland no, years ago. Do you know what I bought myself the other day? Like a, a mince masher. Oh, it's a like mi a, it's a shaped masher. like this and then you go like that and it breaks it all up and it's really good. I was like, why have I never used this before? Clever. What mm. did she tell you? Sorry. Right, she told me, brown the mince, <laughs> OK? Sorry. <laughs> and in this pan here, like, she, uh, see this, she said, brown the mince like this. So you, most uh, vac pack mince has moisture in it, so you yeah. drive off the moisture and it renders its own fat. Then she said, this is the most important thing, you put your flour in to soak up the fat. Mm -hmm. She said, but what you need to do is put it over a high heat and you need to burn that flour or brown that flour in the bottom. So if you turn that heat right up, just turn that one off, after a few seconds, what happens is that just starts to catch at the bottom mm -hmm. there. Is, that is where the flavour comes from and also the colour. Nice. We, we talk about the colour there. Yeah. The, the dark, you bring this bit of meat here and the flour, the dark, the dark it is it there. Will be. It's basically a roux. Then we add, it's very simply, tomato uh, paste to that. And I use dried thyme in here. Now, I prefer dried thyme than fresh thyme in certain dishes. This is one of them. It has a nicer background flavour. And I think it works really nicely with lamb. You can, of course, if you really want to, use fresh thyme, which is all the supermarkets at the moment. And then, literally, cook that down. Let's turn that one off over there. And then what it's you... It's still do... going, it's still going. Oh, it's going to bubble over. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. There it is. So, Must look at that I colour. do everything? Look at that colour. <laughs> Yep. It does look lovely. Right, then you have stock into like there, that. enough stock just to make a nice thick gravy. Lamb stock then? That's lamb stock or chicken stock or beef stock. Is really up to you. And there's that colour, see? Yeah. Look at the colour, look. The dark, oh, look that at that. Heavy, and that's thickened up by that flour. Yes. Well. Wow. Now, what you need to do is put it into a dish when it's cooked, when that's thickened over here like this. Mm -hmm. Give it 10 minutes. Is that the same amount or is that more? A bit less, more. Slightly less here. And here's the secret. What you do is you put it in, you chill it. If you try and put mash on top, especially when you're making big troughs, or, mm. or troughs of sinks. trays, it sinks into it. Right. That that's paler than, than yes, that. Yes, that is slightly paler, because we didn't cook it as far, that's fine. Oh, I so see. So Mrs Bowles would have gone mad, wouldn't she? Oh, OK, so Mrs Bowles would have... She would have done this. She would have gone, uh, uh, hang on a minute. Right. She's quite okay. scary. She was quite scary. OK. Now, mash, um, I'm just going to use butter. Again, I don't use too much butter, because bear in mind, you've got a little bit of fat in there to start with, so you, you want to go mad. Mm -hmm. I sometimes use olive oil as well. It's really up to you, mm -hmm. but I don't go mad. Probably about, I don't know, 20, 30 grams, something like that. Do you ever put anything like peas in it? I do sometimes. Yes, I do. A few peas. I like peas in it. And I like cabbage in there as well, actually. Do you? Oh, yeah, a lot of oh. chopped cabbage Carrots and, and chopped carrots. Yeah. Chopped really small. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, raw or, or cooked? Cooked. cooked. Oh, all right. <laughs> You're asking. Raw carrots? <laughs> well, like well, some people do. Some people do. Some people do. <laughs> <laughs> Asking the question. <laughs> and so, you could also, would you put any other sort of topping on it, like a sweet potato mash? Oh, or well, a... we're going we're to come on to that in a second, oh, yeah. actually, yeah. Um, I like the mash quite um, firm. I don't like it too, too runny, so what I will do is mix this up. Sometimes I put a bit of nutmeg in, it's really up to you. It's a little mm. bit chefy from my, my point of view, and, I, and I'm not a, real, a great lover of putting it into mashed potatoes, unless you're going to have it as a certain type of dish. So if you can. Look at that. So, and, I, and I like to just, I don't like to play around with it too much. I like it to be nice and proud, nice and rustic, like so. If you go to the edge, the mash sticks to the edge and, it's, and it stops what they call cookout. Which is when all the sort of meat yeah, pieces which come I up. Like, I like, like the crispy bits around the edge. Right. 
No, do I. So, in the oven, around about 35 minutes to brown up, and it yep. ends up like this one here, as you see. You have to move your scripts, folks. Yeah, get rid there of those. There's plates here as well. Look at that gravy as yeah. well. Yeah. Now, the gravy... How have you made that gravy? That, that is uh, a gravy granules. Is it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> gravy. What about gravy no, granules? No, it looks really good. It's lovely. Now, my wife actually puts a little spoon of, of mint sauce into the gravy as well. Oh, oh nice so it's just, just oh, the, nice. Not a lot, so you get a bit of a, of a background. Now, this one, you just pick up toppings. Here, Holly. That's sweet potatoes. This is a, a third sweet potato, a third potato and a third grated cauliflower. No way! Yeah, so you get a really nice flavour profile. Oh, I, I just, need to try that. I'll just lift this up here and you'll see. I'm a bit obsessed with cauliflower at the moment. Look at that. So you get a, you get a nice flavour profile. It doesn't look oh, too nice on the plate. Oh, I smell them in sauce. Yeah, but there's only one, one teaspoon in there. Mmm. But, that, but that, that flavour comes from cooking it down at that, that point That is so there. good. There you go. But, yeah, and some things you just can't play around with. I'm no, it's you're right. Me, it's just dead simple. I mean, that is lovely. And I have to say, that mash on top... Yeah. Is really good. And bear in mind, if your children will eat potatoes mm -hmm. and nothing else, you can actually I used to hide it in the potatoes for mm. the kids. Yeah. Uh, I used to call it <laughs> vegetables by stealth. Yeah. <laughs> but it does work. Um, that's nice. both of them are absolutely Just simple, simple uh, flavors. Stunning. Love we it. thought we'd contact a real life sh uh, shepherdess to see how she makes her pie. So we can go live now to Alison O'Neill. Uh, she's in the Yorkshire Dales. Good morning. <laughs> good morning to you, excuse me. Good morning. Hello. So, it's lovely, lovely to see you. I know you have a very busy day, up at six, um, but, um, but you've been watching Phil's recipe. Um, there's a, a big cooking tradition within your family. <laughs> what, what do you think of his and, and what do you do with yours? I think he sounds great. I was really happy to see that most of the things I do, he's doing, so that made me happy. The difference I probably make with mine is I tend to use lamb steaks or the better piece of lamb. Being a shepherd, I have lots of meat, so that's probably easier for me. But I like to use either the meat that's left over from the Sunday roast and then use it the next day on a Monday to make the shepherd's pie, or lamb steaks is what I actually did today. Lamb steaks soaked in mint, cooked uh, over a hot pan, I get it nice and brown, add onions, fresh mint, give that a lovely good seasoning. Then that goes into the pot with carrots, some thyme, a good stock gravy, and then on the top it's lovely potatoes, boiled, mashed with butter, and then to that I add Wensleydale cheese, being a, a Yorkshire lass, and then fresh mint on the top, in the oven for about 40 minutes, and on the table. I mean, that just sounds incredible. Can we all come to yours for lunch? <laughs> I love your kitchen, by the way. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's here now. It's ready. <laughs> all right, well, it, well, it might be cold by the time we get it's there, ready but we'll, for you. we'll give it a go. How has, um, how's the weather been <laughs> with, like with you? I mean, obviously, looking after the sheep, you've got to go out. There's nothing you can do about it, and it's been quite fierce up there, hasn't it? It has. I mean, this time last week it was beautiful like today, but then we had the snow on Tuesday that was heavy for four days. So I've been taking about three hours every day to get to the sheep to feed them. Oh. So it's been quite hard work. I won't complain because I absolutely love being a shepherd, but it's been really challenging. It's nice that we've got the thaw today. Um, and things like shepherd's pie are perfect because I can make them the night before. They're in the oven and they're waiting for me when I get back. So when I'm on the fells and it's freezing cold and I'm a bit tired, We've got this lovely thought of a good homegrown, home cooked meal in the yeah. oven waiting for me. Well, Living the Amazon. You Living really are. Look I know, idyllic. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. We love you. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we love you. You're what really, else? really good on the telly as what well, by the way. What else can you cook? <laughs> we want you to cook us more stuff another time. Thank you. Can you cook loads of stuff? I would love to cook more stuff. Do I you want to come loads. down? My, my mum was a cook, my grandma. I would love to come down and cook with you. Come and cook I'd for us, to. please do. That's it. Bring that's some it. nice produce as yeah, well. Yeah, bring. Oh, bring your home, to. your home produce and come down and cook and for us. And can you bring your dog as well? Because your dog looks lovely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <Amazing. laughs> Thanks, Alison. Thank, Thank you. That's a deal. I'd love you. that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank oh, you as well. That's pleasure. delicious. Pleasure. Really, really good. Pleasure. And for all the recipe details, take a look at our this morning app.